Today on Gear Live's Bleeding Edge, we'll be modifying the Apple iPhone, putting on custom ringtones and applications. Now this is the Windows version of the video, so if you have a Mac, make sure you click the Mac link instead. So let's get started right after this. If you uh, have a need for sharing your computer remotely, GoToMeeting is your answer. You can share your screen with others. Um, head to gotomeeting.com forward slash podcast for a free 30-day trial. Welcome to The Bleeding Edge. I'm Nate True, and this is Hack Attack. Until recently, it's been difficult to get custom applications and ringtones onto your phone. But with the new Pixel package architecture, it makes it very simple to put on new, new applications to your phone and make sure they stay updated. So on the Mac, the application is called Breezy, not to be confused with Ubuntu Linux's Breezy Badger version. And on Windows, the program is called iBricker. There are links in the show notes if you want to download them. So let's get started. To start off, head to iBricker.com. Scroll down to the download link and download it to your computer. Extract all of the files to a single folder. I recommend C colon backslash iBricker. Then head to the folder using the run box or Windows Explorer. Double click on iBreaker.exe. The very first time you'll have to free your iPhone. This is also known as jailbreaking. You'll have to download the firmware from within iTunes because we can't distribute it any other way. So head into iTunes and click restore and confirm. And you'll have to click through a bunch of legal agreements. After that the download will begin and this will usually take about 10 minutes. Make sure you disconnect your iPhone before it's done though, otherwise it'll erase your phone. So when the download is finished, iTunes is going to extract the software. And then it will complain about not finding the phone. That's, of course, because we don't want to erase your phone. So plug your phone back in now and hit check again. Then iBroker will run through the jailbreaking process, adding some files to your phone and asking you to restart it. So hold the top button on your phone until the power turns off. And then hold the power button again to turn it on. And once the phone turns on and you see the gray Apple logo, press and hold the top button and the home button at the same time for as long as it takes until it says please connect to iTunes. At this point, iBreaker will respond saying that it's installing software and iTunes is going to pop up saying it found an iPhone in recovery mode. Make sure to press OK in, I in iTunes, but don't click Restore. Go back to iBricker and just let it do its thing. When it's done, iBricker will let you know, and you can press the large button to get started. First is managing ringtones. This is really easy. The list of installed ringtones appears on the right, and you can click Upload Ringtone and use any audio file as a ringtone. It automatically gets transcoded using FFmpeg, which is included in the package. So every file format is supported and you'll be sure your iPhone is able to recognize it. It's all done in one step and it will appear in the ringtone list on the right. To delete any ringtone, hit the minus button next to the file. It will disappear and the file list will refresh. You'll notice that it's been deleted. You can also manage applications by hitting the applications link from the main screen. A list of applications will show on the right just like with ringtones and you can head to pxl.googlecode.com to see a list of PXL files. Or you can also check out iphone.exploit.org slash pxl. It's another place where PXL packages are being published. So choose a PXL file and download it to your local system. Save it somewhere where you'll find it later. Then hit Install Application in the iBroker Applications view and find the file again. Once you've selected it, iBroker will automatically upload your application and install it using the PXL daemon running on your phone. It shouldn't take very long and your iPhone will restart when it's done. Then it will appear on your application list when you hit back. You can also delete applications just like in the ringtones view using the red icon on the right. That's all I've got for now. To stay updated, check out my blog at cree.asians.net forward slash blog and check out more episodes of The Bleeding Edge by hitting the guide button down here. 
Until next time, this is Nate True on the Bleeding Edges Hack Attack. Goodbye.